What's good everybody, welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw in three point perspective. But when we do, we're going to do it at a bird's eye view. A bird's eye view is when you're viewing something from up high, you know where a bird usually is, up in the sky. So that's what a bird's eye view is. So what you're going to need is your sketchbook, uh, I'm using a 12 inch ruler and I'm using one of my color raise pencils and HB. So that's what I'm using in today's video, you can use whatever you have, you'll just need a ruler pretty much. So when drawing in three point perspective, you're obviously going to need three vanishing points. So to place your vanishing points, use your ruler to find your eye level or your horizon line. So I'm going to place my ruler up here. I'm going to draw a line straight across. Okay, so there's our first horizon line and two of my vanishing points would lie somewhere on this line. My third vanishing point would be somewhere anywhere else on the page. So I'm going to use my Sharpie and place two vanishing points, one over here, one over here, and they're both on the same horizon line. My third vanishing point would be somewhere else on the page. So I'm going to place it down here. So that way it'd be one, two, three point perspective. So you don't necessarily have to connect all of these points but what I am going to do is I'm going to take our third vanishing point and draw a vertical line up so that way it intersects with this line and that's what we're going to need for the video so when you think about it you pretty much split your drawing in half everything on this side of the drawing will go towards this vanishing point everything on this side of the drawing goes towards this vanishing point you can think of it that way to make it easy but that's just a little tip I can throw out there for you guys. So what we are going to draw in this video is a series of floating cubes. So let's make a point on this vertical line here. And I'm going to put an X right here so you guys can see it. Okay. So that X defines the cube that's on top. So we're going to connect this vanishing point to this X. Okay. And then we're also going to connect this vanishing point to the X. Okay. And then I'm also going to use this vanishing point to construct the base because since it's had a bird's eye view, the base on top of this cube will be visible. So I'm going to do that starting with this vanishing point, draw a line all the way to it, and then same thing on this side. But I'm going to make sure that my ruler lines up where these two lines intersect on this vertical line. So make sure that lines up perfectly. And then I'm going to use my pencil to draw that in so you guys can see it. Okay. And a cube has square bases. And with our perspective points, we constructed a square because we got one two, three, and four sides. Okay, so now we're gonna use each of those points and we're gonna connect those to our third vanishing point down here. Two of them are already done because they lie on this vertical line here. So all we gotta do is connect this point and this point to our third vanishing point down here. So let's grab our ruler and connect the dots. Okay, so now we're going to pick another stopping point on this vertical line. And I'm going to put an X here. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing, except this base won't be visible, just the bottom portion of that base. And then I'm going to come a little bit off of our point, because these cubes are supposed to be floating. And they're going to be spread apart just a small amount from each other. So right now this is one cube and right now I'm drawing the second cube. So I'm going to pick our stopping point, connect it to our vanishing point. And then another one underneath it and let's draw in our last one to save time. So just connect it to our 
So just connect it to the point that lies on the vertical line that we marked with our X. And go from there. Okay, so let me draw those in really quickly with my pencil so you guys can see it better. Okay, so now it just looks like one of those arrows pointing down on like a racing game. So like when you're playing a racing game and you see an arrow that indicates kind of like the checkpoint or like a boost or if it's trying to guide you to a different direction, that's what this kind of looks like already. But that's because we didn't give these other two cubes any depth. So let's do that. So you see these points on the cube here? Those indicate the base that we can't see because the cubes on top of it are covering it up. So what I am going to do is take these two points and connect them with this vanishing point back here. So just... Okay, now if you take a look on this side, it looks pretty much completed. But we haven't done it with this side yet. So now we're going to take these two points and connect them with this vanishing point. Okay, and then I forgot to draw this vertical line in too. Okay, so now we see the bases of these squares. We see a little bit of this one, and then a little bit of this one. And yeah, we got ourselves a series of floating cubes. So now let me show you guys a cool way to add shadows. So we're gonna, we're gonna pick it off from this point, and let's say our light source is somewhere over here where my hand is. So the shadows are gonna be over towards this area. So we're gonna focus the shadows on this side of the drawing. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take this point and connect it with this vanishing point over here. I'm gonna go all the way back here. And then this point, I'm also gonna do the same thing. Okay. And now we're gonna pick a stopping point. So let's use this first line that we drew and we're gonna pick a stopping point along this line for the shadows, where the shadows are gonna stop. So let's pick a point here. Pick a stopping point right there. So let's use that and connect it with this vanishing point over here. And then just draw a line. Okay, and since we have three cubes, we're gonna divide, we're gonna take this entire area here and divide it into three parts. And since the cubes are also spaced out, we also wanna take that into consideration. So like here's one shadow for this cube, and then all we gotta do is provide a shadow for these two cubes because there's a break in between those two. So we also gotta provide a break into the shadow as well. So break and break. And then let me color those in. Okay, and then once we got the shadows all colored in, we can erase all the guidelines that we used to create it. And we are just about done. So adding that shadow, it's called a cast shadow by the way. Adding that kind of cast shadow gives you a sense of depth in the illustration because before then all we saw was the depth of the cubes but now since we added the shadow we can see that there's some ground in the illustration but with that being said that's it that's how you draw in three point perspective at a bird's eye view so if you liked the video or if you found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you in my next video I can't